back guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you today we're gonna be doing a Valentine's Day makeup look and this is not the outfit I'm gonna be wearing on Valentine's Day I'm actually going to be in Tennessee on Valentine's Day so you might see what I wear on Valentine's Day on my Instagram but you probably won't so just look at the makeup inspo for this and also keep in mind I just got out of the shower so that's why I look like a wet dog but that's because it's 10 in the morning and I'm just getting ready for the day so without further ado let's just jump right on into this video so first I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and I actually have a new eyebrow routine so I'm gonna show you my eyebrows today but I'm first going to line the bottom and line the top with my NYX micro brow pencil I just oh I can't even see what I'm doing so I just comb them and then I line the bottom and the top now I'm gonna use the essence make me brow in the shade blondie brows so the lightest one and I'm just gonna fill in my brows, which I just started using tinted brow gels for the first time in my life. And I really enjoy them. This one is especially a good drugstore option as well. It's like $4. While my eyebrows are setting, I'm gonna be using the CoverGirl Lid Lockup Eyeshadow Primer and I'm just gonna prime my eyelids. We're mostly going to be using the Modern Renaissance palette by Anastasia, but if I do use any other palettes, I'll let you know. But the first shade we're going to tap into is Tempura, just all over the lid. In case you're wondering, I just used my angled shader brush to do that. Now we're going to be tapping into Beyond Fiesta. <laughs> now we're going to tap into Beyond Fresco with the brush that's actually in this palette. So I'm just going to use the little shader side and just dust this in my crease. But high up in my crease. Next we're going to use Raw Sienna in our crease. I think I am going to tap into another palette. I'm going to use the She Palette by ColourPop with Courage. That's not how you say it, but it's their collab, and this palette is very Valentine's Day perfect. So this is what it looks like, and I'm going to tap into this burgundy shade, which is called... I'm going to say it's either Damsel or Missy. I'm not sure, but we're going to... Just say it's damsel. I'm going to use an equal tools brush that I got for Christmas. It's the shade and define brush. It has two edges. So I'm going to use that to put damsel in my crease. And in the outer corners as well. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of love letter and just deepen up the outer corners with my dome shader brush. I think I'm actually going to deepen it up a little bit more and use a little bit more color. I'm going to use red ochre to do that. It's starting to get stormy outside so I'm sorry if you can hear the wind and the storm but I'm going to use for my shimmery shade Vermeer just all over the lid. Not so much in the outer corner because we do have that deeper shadow out there. But I'm going to spray this brush with my NYX Finny Matte Setting Spray. Still don't even know what the actual name is for it. And then I'm going to put it all over my lid. The storm is getting worse and worse, so I'm sorry that I filmed at a bad time. But California weather is so unpredictable, so... Anyways, I'm going to use my Morphe brush just to blend the edges. I don't have any shadow on this brush. I'm just going to blend. So now I'm going to finish filling in my eyebrows, just the sparse areas with my NYX brow pencil. 
I know you were like, what is going on with her eyebrows? But I'm not gonna leave them crazy, I promise. I added the brow gel step because I just found that my eyebrows were getting really crazy by the end of the day and that was something I wasn't even noticing before. But now that I added this eyebrow step, not only does it keep my brows in place, but it makes my brow pencils last longer because I'm not using them as much, which is also a plus because I go through these brow styles. Brow styles? I go through these brow pencils like they're going out of style is what I was going to say. So I just do this so it doesn't look like a block, but it looks like a brow. Now we're going to go to the face. I totally forgot to spray my face with the Mario Badescu Rose Water at the beginning. So I'm going to do that right now. Then something else I've also been doing is my friend gave me this for Christmas. She gave me this Smashbox set and this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I wasn't a believer in this until I was watching Casey Holmes and she has very oily skin like I do and she says she uses this with her regular primer and it makes her makeup last so long so I've been doing it and she's not wrong this stuff is magic so I'm going to be using this as well now for primer today I'm going to use the Smashbox photo finish minimizing pore primer wow I need to get a full size of this this is just a mini size and it's almost out but I'm going to be using this for my primer today for foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation in the shade F5, and this foundation is one of my new favorites. I still like the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, but I like this one a little bit more just because of the coverage. This is so hard to do, not in my normal makeup setup area. I'm like trying to set up a mirror. Just gonna dot it on my face and then blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Next, I'm gonna use the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 08. And as I've been trying this out more and more, I don't think I like it as much as I did originally because. I just really love a full coverage concealer and foundation, obviously, as you know, and this still shows my, like, blueness under my eyes, so I think my all-time favorite concealer would be the Tarte Shape Tape, which I currently don't have because I used all of mine and I didn't repurchase it yet, but I'm going to. So I'm just going to dot this under my eyes, three little dots, blend it out, and then immediately put on some Laura Mercier Translucent Powder to prevent any creasing. Now I'm just going to put concealer on my blemishes and blend that out. Now I'm going to be using the Glossier Wowder, which is a new powder to me. I've only used it a few times so far, so I'm still testing it out. Don't really have any, like, thoughts about it yet, but I'm just going to be baking using this. We're going to go back to the under eyes and we're going to use raw sienna with the Morphe M408 brush and just buff that under the lower lashes. Now we're going to use the Anastasia brush again. <laughs> That's so hard to say. We're going to use this side of it this time and we're just going to buff out the burgundy shade from the She palette, the Missy or Damsel one. And we're just gonna buff it out, smoke it out a little bit under the lower lashes. I don't have time for winged liner or anything, but any of you that are doing this look or are doing a look for Valentine's Day, I definitely think you should do that. But we're gonna put a inner corner highlight right now and we're gonna use one of the shades from the She palette. We're gonna use this one in this corner, which could either be ladylike or chick, I don't know, but we're going to use this one because it has like a gold but pink flex in it, and that's kind of what I want. So I'm going to use my finger and put this in the inner corner. So first we're going to wipe away any of the baking powder that we have on. Then we're going to use the NYX HD Finishing Powder in the translucent shade and just set everything else. 
Now using the Maybelline Master Bronze palette, we're going to use this darkest shade over here, which is very cool toned, and we're going to contour with that. So I just use this end of that brush to get the product and just contour like this. Now, since I've been holding it the entire time, we're gonna use the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer. For blush today, we're gonna use the Flower Beauty Blush in the shade Sweet Peach, and just put that on the apples of our cheeks. I'm feeling like I wanna be a little bit glowy today, so my friend gave me this blush glowy palette. It's from Real Her. It's the Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit and it just has these three blushes. So I'm gonna use this one on the far left. Yeah, left. And it's called Fearless. Just kind of dip it in like that. Lastly for highlighter today, we're gonna use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I have a little mini because I just want to try it and I'm in love with it so I'm just gonna use this little mini right here for mascara today I'm gonna use NYX worth the hype on the lower lashes and the Marc Jacobs velvet newer mascara on the top lashes and I'm gonna curl them just with my little curler I thought for the final look I should look more presentable, but now we're just going to set the face. Going to use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray, spray it all over, and then pat it in with a beauty blender. And we're going to use the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Makeup Spray. I love this spray, it does a good job for your makeup, and it smells good. I'm going to use my Clear Baby Lips, the blue one, to moisturize my lips. Since we went so bold with the eyes, I'm just going to use one of my favorite nudes, the NYX, Lix, the NYX Lip Lingerie Lip the NYX Lip Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bedtime Flirt. This is the completed look. I hope it was simple enough for you, not too difficult. The only other thing I would do is just add a liner, but I just am running late, so I didn't have time to do that. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I'd love to do this for you. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys!